The Speaker of the House of Representatives arrives for Tuesday's plenary to a rather scanty chamber. After adopting the votes and proceedings, a motion of urgent public importance on the need for the House to investigate the alleged invasion of the Federal High Court by the Department of State Services while trying to rearrest Revolution Now protest leader Omoyele Showere is raised by the minority leader. The House is concerned that the men of the civil society claims that the unidentified marked men are agents of the Department of the State Services, DSS. A situation where one arm is seen to be overpowering another in the course of dispersing her duties will definitely spell doom for the separation of powers as a shrine in the Constitution. If a law is passed, the House mandated committees on national security, judiciary and human rights to investigate and report back in two weeks. Those in support of the motion is amended, please say aye. Those against please say nay. The eyes have it. Meanwhile, a bill sponsored by the Speaker and five other lawmakers on the need for budget discipline and accountability scales second reading, just as the lawmakers issue an ultimatum of 31st December 2019 for ministries, departments and agencies to refund all unspent budget funds to the National Treasury. Under uh, Finance Control and Management Act, unspent money is supposed to be returned, but indeed, Constituency money meant for political that are not spent were not done. They were retained by MDAs and spent illegally through violence and augmentation. The House also set up an ad hoc committee to investigate the amount of unspent constituency project funds not remitted in the last 10 years. The effort. Another bill which scales second reading is for an act to alter Section 7 of the 1999 Constitution and ensure that local governments are no longer under the control of state governors. This bill will not just only do or give the authority for the election of chairman, but at the same time, it will stop the issue of caretaker committees, caretaker chairman ad, uh, administration that that most of governors usually use it to do what they want to do. A bill for an act to separate the office of the Attorney General of the Federation from the Minister of Justice also passes through second reading. Terry Ikumi, Channels Television News.